This is Straight No Chaser. I'm Dr. Jeffrey Sterling. Are you a ticking time bomb? One in three Americans are because they have high blood pressure, also called hypertension. The force that your heart has to create to push blood around the body is measured as blood pressure. That pressure happens with each heartbeat. So if your blood creates too much pressure, you are walking around on borrowed time. You could collapse at any moment with a stroke or a heart attack. The size and elasticity of the artery walls also affect blood pressure. Each time the heart beats, the contracting and relaxing creates pressure inside the arteries. Two numbers measure your blood pressure. The top number, called systolic, refers to the pressure when the heart contracts and pumps through the body. The bottom number, called diastolic, refers to the pressure when the heart is at rest and is filling with blood. High blood pressure is when the two numbers are 140 over 90 or higher. The only way you know this is to get your blood pressure checked. Because hypertension often exists with no symptoms, we call it the silent killer. You can have a heart attack or a stroke and not even know you have the disease. So it's really important to know your risk factors and blood pressure and get evaluated. Now, if you're over age 60, your risk goes up. In fact, half of all people over age 60 have hypertension. If you smoke, have diabetes, or if you are overweight, you are more likely to have high blood pressure. And if you drink alcohol regularly, meaning more than two drinks a day, your risk increases. Heavy long-time drinkers are really at risk. If you eat a lot of salty foods or put a lot of salt in food or on food, your blood pressure may be high. Consuming too much salt will cause the body to retain fluid, which drives up blood pressure. Getting too little potassium, a mineral that helps balance the amount of salt in your body, adds to the risk. So one natural way to help lower blood pressure is to eat foods high in potassium such as bananas. And finally, if people in your family tend to have high blood pressure, your chances are good that you may have it too. There's always the possibility of a genetic connection as well as bad dietary habits a household may share. When was the last time you had your blood pressure checked? If it's been more than three months, that's too long. And if you have been diagnosed, you need to get it checked at least every month. For more information on hypertension, visit my website, jeffreysterlingmd.com. This has been Straight No Chaser.